Hey, what's up? It's Chris from Rocker Films, and in today's video, I'm going to show you this really awesome color split effect, and we're doing that right inside of Adobe After Effects. So once you've got Adobe After Effects open, we're going to drag our footage in, and this footage should be of a person in front of a wall. Now, you don't have to be in front of a wall, but this makes it a lot easier if you are, because there's going to be less complications later on. So in order to do this effect, we first want to separate the person from the background. So in order to do this, you would typically film on a green screen. But if you haven't filmed on a green screen, then that's where we're going to use this technique. And this is going to use the Roto Brush built inside of Adobe After Effects. So select your footage and go up to the Roto Brush on the top of After Effects. Now double click on the video and we're just going to paint over the person on the video. Now make sure there is a pink outline perfectly around the person. And once that person is surrounded with a pink outline, you want to drag this gray bar underneath the green bar all the way to the very right. And this means the computer will analyze the entire shot. So once you've done that, just press space on your keyboard and the computer will go ahead and analyze the footage. Now, if you find parts of your video that aren't supposed to be there, so if the background bleeds through, then all you want to go and do is go back to that frame, hold option on your keyboard, and this will change the brush from green to red and then just scribble over the part that shouldn't be there. And the computer should do a good job of getting rid of that. So you just want to go through this process over and over again. Make sure that the person on the video has this pink outline around them for the entire duration of the footage. And once you're happy with the look of that, you can go back into the composition comp one window. And as you can see, the person has been isolated and the background has been removed. So from here, we're just going to copy that layer. So we're going to hold command C and command V. Select the layer on the bottom, go up to Roto Brush and Refine Edge on the top left of After Effects and just delete this. Now, right click the bottom layer, go down to Rename and we're just going to rename this to BG for Background. Now select the top layer and we're going to make a copy of this, so hold Command C and Command V. Now on that middle video layer, you want to pull this over to the left a little bit. We'll go up to Effects and Presets and search for Levels. Drop levels onto that video layer. Now in levels, we're just gonna pull this arrow on the right underneath this bar all the way to the very left over onto the black. And if we've done this right, then it should look like we have a shadow just behind the person on screen. So from here, we'll go back into effects and presets, search for tint, drop tint onto that layer, the black layer that we've just created. And we're gonna map the black to a color of your choice. So I'm gonna select green in this example, and as you can see, the effect is essentially now complete. But of course, we want to do this multiple times. So we're going to make a copy of that. So we're going to copy the green layer, Command C, Command V, select the bottom layer. We'll move this over to the left again. We'll go into tint on the left of After Effects and we'll change the green to a blue. Of course, you can do this as many times as you like. Now, once you're happy with the look of this color split effect, we can just go ahead and add some basic camera movement into the shot just to bring this to life a little bit more. So we'll go up into layer, new, null object. We're going to select every layer except for the null object and then use this pit whip tool, drag that onto null one. That means everything's going to be linked to the null object. We'll go into the arrow and null object, go transform. At the very beginning, we want to create keyframe on scale and position. We'll go roughly two seconds in. We'll increase the scale to 139 and we'll move the position all the way over to the right. And if we play this back, we've got this really cool zoom in effect happening. But if we delete the first keyframe on the scale, then we're just going to keep zoomed in, meaning only the position is going to animate. And there we go. We've got this really awesome color split effect happening. The camera is pulling from left to right. It looks really awesome. And there you go. That is how you do this effect right inside of Adobe After Effects. And there you go. If you haven't already, then please do not forget to subscribe. I upload a brand new video every single day for you. So if you want to learn some awesome filmmaking and photography tips and tricks, then make sure you subscribe to this channel to keep up to date with everything that I upload. Thank you for watching and I will see you tomorrow.